Memphis. She's never been groomed before. We've already taken the whiskers off. I like to groom on the stacking box because it gives me space underneath the dog to work with and teaches them to stand still. We're going to do the neck with a 10 blade. Okay, or on your adjustable clippers, it's the next to the longest setting. On some dogs, you're going to come all the way down here and take this front off. Other dogs, you're going to leave. It depends on the front that your dog has. You clip with the grain of the hair. Make sure your blades are clean so you don't leave clipper marks. When I do the sides, I pull the ear back and hold the skin tight with my hand. And I start at the cheek. And again, how far deep you go into the neck depends on your dog's structure and also depends on how soon you're going to be showing that dog. See, and I'm going to take a little bit more off right there. We'll blend with thinning scissors and stripping knives sorry, after we get everything clipped. Okay, now while I have the 10 blade still either on my clippers or my blade adjusted for the 10 blade, I'm going to do the crotch. I do this on boys and girls. And we're going to take all this hair off. I go against the grain in between the legs to start to clean that up. And you're going with the grain down the back of the leg and start this line. Again, you'll clean it up with thinning scissors when we get to that point. When I'm trimming a dog for the first time, I really like to hoe that dog out a good couple of weeks before I'm actually going to show it. So that I can start my blending lines, and then I can just maintain the dog each week as we're showing it. Because you really want your clip to look natural and your blend lines to be blended so that there's no distinct clip areas. And now, I'm going to go to my 40 blade, and on the girls, I like to clean up around their little personal areas. Some people on boys clip the testicles. I do not like the look of naked testicles, so I do not, but it's personal preference, and you will see it in the ring when the testicles have been cooked. 
Now I use the 40 blade on the groin area on both boys and girls. Pull your skin up so that it's snug and you're going to clip just the little exposed part of the belly. This gives the dog a much cleaner underline than it would have with the hair head and back. Sure the dog is standing four square so you can see your lines and you're going to clean up your clip lines so you have no hair hanging down. Yeah, for, for some people this area, I cannot do this with a clipper like Mary does because the dog will move and I'll take a chunk out. I have to do this part with, with scissors. scissors. Yep, you can do it with the scissors. That's why I like the stacking block to work with because I do get, the, the especially the younger dogs, to stand still. And you yeah, have to be I, careful. You've got a 40 blade going here, so yeah, if they I move, take chunks out of it you'll, you'll take chunks out. Um, I like to use my clippers. I use my clippers a lot, but you can certainly do that area with scissors. And lots of people do. A little bit hard to see some of that with the shading. Yeah, we'll get the but, yeah. So that's your roughing, essentially your roughing clip. You're going to do a lot of blending and stuff. So now what I do with nails, let's see how good we're going to be with nails. If they're somewhat long, like this puppy, I clip first. And then Dremel. This is going to be bad. But again, the stacking box. Keep them somewhat quieter, so it's a little easier to work on. Give them practice standing where you want them. And you can just keep putting them back up, face step down. Okay, I'm going to turn this video off and we can load the next one on sculpting. Okay.